Welcome to how to edit a Skype interview in ScreenFlow. As you can see, I made an interview with Alexa Fisher and now when I open the interview file, what I'm going to do is to angle the two movies so that we both face each other. I'm showing you on the screen the keys I am pressing. Basically, when I press Ctrl, I can cut from the image when clicking on those little buttons there, look. And when I'm pressing shift, I'm resizing the image just as scale does, but from one side of the image, like here. Here I'm pressing shift. Then I'm using Y rotation so that I am angling the two screens so we can see each other. This is shift. All right. It takes a bit of tweaking so that we have a great video afterwards. With Apple Z, I can undo commands in case I am uh, re I've made the wrong resize. Here it is, and it looks good. Let's see if by adding a white background wouldn't it look better. I'm not a designer, so I really can't imagine how it would look on a white background. So I'm adding it, checking if it looks good, and nope, it doesn't look good. So now I'm removing the white background and to I'm de also deleting the source file so that the source project doesn't occupy much space. Here you can see that in this video my audio my video codec froze my image. So basically the last part of the video is a frozen face. What can I do is since I have also Alexa's recording, is to cut from the part that the image froze and add Alexa's version of me in the video. Yes, glitches happen when recording a Skype interview, so why not come prepared? Why not record from both parts so that we can easily have a backup? Here it is, I'm using the other video of me so I know exactly what size to resize the new video to. Hey, we are recording now. So I've been the resizing, Yay, but now I have to marry the, awesome. uh, the video with the audio. Uh, this needs to take place so that both sounds uh, from the interview from my side and from Alexa's side are at the same level. I'm constantly muting one audio and unmuting the other until I hear a keyword and then I'm syncing I'm syncing to that keyword. I'm using markers to see where the keyword is heard in the first video and another marker to mark it from the second video. And then I'm trying to shift just a little bit so that the audio is synced. Yes, that's it. You can also sync by using loud noises, in case you can find one in your video. Good. A bit of tweaking here. And here is the part where I'm removing my frozen image and adding the other image from my interview. <laughs> now Alexa has the spotlight on both images, but this is uh, this is what happens when hardware fails. Okay, now I'm removing the outro of the video, the part after the ending. I can use I can remove it quickly by pressing here it is E and uh, I for removing the other part of the video. Okay, here it is. I'm trying to 
find the perfect spot. Okay, I've removed the ending and the beginning of the video. This procedure is um, called setting the in point and the out point and then removing everything after before the in point and after the out point. And now some finishing touches in which I'm adding the Alexa's name here. I'm playing a bit with colors and with the size. And I'm also angling the text to the same degree as in the image, as the video. Okay, outline doesn't work that well. The color is all right. And I'm copying this and doing the same for my name. I speeded the video up to 400% here so that we don't uh, lose 40 minutes doing an editing, but normally 30, 40 minutes, that's how much it would take in case you have hardware problems such as the one I had. All right, now it looks good. Yes, putting the name from the, be from the beginning up until the end. And I'm adding starting and, and transitions. Lava sounds just about right. And lava on my other, on my name. Okay. Now I'm adding uh, the introduction, the first slide of the video. Mm, doesn't look that good with the Skype interview there. So I'm moving the Skype interview out of the colored box. and I'm left lining that text. All right, it starts looking good now. Mm -hmm. All right, and an ending transition, we should add that too. So, and more, okay, let's go to the ending. Here it is. Great. Well, exporting and thank you for watching the video. I hope you've enjoyed it. And if you have any comments or questions, you can always contact me using the comments.